Do you want to set it up so that the video of you on Zoom is on top of your PowerPoint or Keynote slides? I'm going to show you how in this video. This is so much more interesting than just having that, that tiny little window with you as a presenter. You can kind of point and interact and whatnot. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So you'll need to be inside a Zoom meeting with sharing privileges. And what you'll do is head to the, uh, the share button on the bottom of the screen, the little green box here. Click on that. And then you're going to head over to advanced, the second tab over. And then you can choose a slides as a virtual background. So just double click on that. And then it's going to allow you to look at your hard drive and pick something, uh, either a keynote file or a PowerPoint file. Those are the two that I know that work. So I'm just going to open up this one here. And it's going to prepare your slides and it's going to remove animations. It's going to remove video. Uh, it's just going to be each individual slide. But you can see here um, that it's already popped me on the screen, um, which, is, which is nice. And I can also move myself around. So this is what we're looking for is this more interesting way, instead of being a little square in the corner, being bigger on screen. So you can just go on screen and, and move yourself around. You can also, when you're clicking there, you can increase your size by grabbing the corner kind of find in a good spot now this isn't perfect i noticed at the bottom of here there is a little bit of a gap and you can't move yourself partially off screen um, and the software mm -hmm, m m h m m is a great opportunity to if you're on a mac check that out it's in beta right now but it really does this exact same thing but way better than zoom's doing it themselves uh, but uh, there's a lot of options here. What I like to do is design my slides so that there is a space in the lower left hand corner so that I can put myself down in that spot. And then you'll see here that there's a little arrow and it tells you there's 18 slides and that's how you're going to go through and move your slides forward or backwards. There's also an option here if you click on the three little dots to uh, split the slide, split your video so your video is now removed and put in the typical position it would be for Zoom and you can do the same thing to get it back. I hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to subscribe, trying to hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. Thank you very much.